Sego, I'm Louis Jacobs. Happy Valentine's Day. So last year, Akwazasni TV broadcast the not so newlywed game live from the Akwazasni Mohawk Casino Resort here in Akwazasni. We had three amazing couples competing for prizes. It was an amazing time with a live studio audience. Obviously, we're not able to do that this year. So we rounded up our second and third place couples from last year and asked them to join us in a cooking competition in their kitchen with prizes sponsored by 37 West here in Akwazasne. So competing today, we have Carrie and Glenn Hill and also Anthony Tillman and Leah Benedict. So let's join them now and see what they're gonna be preparing for us and have them get started in this cooking competition, which we are calling Love in the Kitchen. I am cooking up some steaks, um, not by themselves, not on sale. And they're on a cast iron pan though. So okay, busy. and Carrie? I'm going to do some roasted potatoes and some candy carrots. First, we're going to preheat this oven to 450, and that's to cook the potatoes and carrots. There's Glenn getting his stuff ready to go. Put some butter on the pan. You know, you got to butter that real good. We got our ingredients. We got some salt and some pepper and some extra virgin olive oil and Italian seasoning. And I like, I like Himalayan salt, so that's there also and have some baby potatoes and brown sugar and butter for my carrots. Normally we do it on the grill, but it's winter. Yeah, it's too cold to be outside cooking steaks. I'm just going to chop my potatoes and we're going to quarter the potato with the The aluminum foil. Okay, those steaks look like they're cooking. They are sizzling hot. You got to wait till the pan's hot. You don't want to throw a steak on a cold pan. Can we get a close up of the steak? Okay. Alrighty. So here's the steak. So extra virgin olive oil. We're just gonna take this, put my thumb over this, and put my finger. I'm just gonna drizzle it on a little bit. Give it some love. Very Give it nice. Some love. I'm gonna sprinkle some Italian seasoning on there. The perfect pink Italian seasoning. Just give it a good healthy sprinkle and a little bit of pepper and sprinkle it with love, 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 love. Boom, there we go. And now we put it in the oven for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Pulling it out. I didn't even say the water for the carrots. See? We got the water for the carrots. We are making, because we are a busy family, we are making hamburger helper okay. with a side of corn. I was gonna get all fancy dancy, but we didn't have enough time. This is his this is his meal, so <laughs> I'm following his lead. So we got our hamburger out and we thawed it during the day. So it's over here. It's it, it's on the it's on the grill, and you gotta get your spices. Gotta get your spices in. I like the Montreal steak flavor, you know, you don't want bland, you don't want bland cooking. So I just I I get kind of carried away with it. Get a little salt. A little salt, put it on there. Oh my god, that's too much. What are oh. you doing? Oh, my. Oh. <laughs> It'd be just perfect. And then we gotta turn the heat up just a little bit, but we don't wanna burn it. I'm gonna cut it up. You're gonna cut it up. That spatula. <laughs> You're very ginger with that. I, yeah. Hey, I, it's meat. You gotta be precious. It's, it's, this is USDA certified beef. I think the hardest part that we, that we have is trying to figure out what we're going to cook. Um, we have to cook, you know, twice a day. So right. then we're gonna do this this awesome corn right here for a side dish, okay. nice and easy. So I'm gonna turn the burner on, I'll put it on a medium. Okay, so things are really heating up in the kitchens. So let's talk to our couples for a second about how they met. Well, we were at the playground at Mohawk School and I shoved them off the swing. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I beat him up and said, you're my boyfriend now. And that was it. Never look back. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Happily ever after, ever since that. That's right. Anthony stalked me on Facebook and I just got this random Facebook <laughs> message. He wanted to take me out to lunch and I thought that was not so creepy. So I agreed to go to lunch. Wow. And he seemed all right. Then I get there. 
and there's like six or seven people. She thought I was that big of a creep that she had to bring six or seven people to eat lunch with us. I was like, oh my goodness, I'm not a creep, I promise. Okay, well that sounds like a recipe for love. Let's get back to our couples and see where we are with everything. So right now the steaks, they have a nice brown color on the outside and, a, and in the center it's still red. Okay. I'm gonna check, if they don't wanna come off, I'm gonna leave them a couple more minutes. The trick with steaks is just to flip with them once. Oh, oh, look at that. Nice, nice. brown. Nice brown wine. Nice. Nice. Holy. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, we're going to Glenn and Carrie's house for dinner. We're having steak and roasted potatoes and carrots. Can we get another shot of those steaks? Oh. Sure can. Let me hook Please. you up for that. Look at that sizzle. I'm going to be taking them off. Mm. They are young. It's about getting the juices in and not letting them all come out or we're cooking it too long and getting it to where it's uh, tough, like leather. You don't want leather, you want tender steak. How are those potatoes <laughs> coming? Do they need to be tossed or flipped, or did you already do that? Let's look at it. I will check them right now. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, thank you. Ooh, they're sizzling. Looking good, looking good so far. Heat with the sweet, that's what we're working with. Look at it. I still have to cook it in there. Oh, I did not know that. I know, because you don't oh. ask. I'm my um, sir. <laughs> trouble in there So I drained my carrots, put them back on the pan, on the oven, or the stove, sorry. I'm going to drop my two tablespoons of butter in. Nice. And I am going to stir it until it melts. And then I'm going to put my brown sugar in, and it'll be candied. There's the sweet. Now where's the heat? Ooh, no, no, whoa, whoa, whoa. We almost just dumped it on. <laughs> and then you stir in the hot water. We need one and one third cups hot water. Give it a taste. I like to taste it. Yeah, let's see that, Nyla. Blowing it so I don't burn this precious mouth of mine. Yeah. Mmm, I think it's perfect. I like it. I think I think in a past life I was called Chef Boy R. Tillman. Nice golden corn. But I shake it because you want all that grease out because grease is bad for the arteries. <laughs> Booyah! Just like that. And so then we have two cups of milk. I'm gonna stir the corn. Then I gotta put this sauce mix in. Then I like to make the beautiful incision right here. Man, watch out Rachel Ray, because here I come. Then you'll stir it. There you go. Here we are, we're stirring it now, buddy. Then I'm gonna turn the heat up so it will boil. I might have a little Chinese food well left. The corn is, you know, nice and hot, so we'll just put that on low. And noodles are, you know, noodles can be tricky because you want them just the right consistency. I yeah. personally think that he has it up too high, but that's just my opinion. And I think that is her favorite word in the kitchen is, turn the heat down. Turn the heat down. So I'm learning to turn the heat down. I feel like I can smell it from here. Okay, we're in the final stretch. Let's get back to our couples and see them assemble their meals and plate things up for us. This is reserved just for you guys. Our awesome. time. Oh man. All right, it's good. Them noodles are just popping. Nice and soft, almost like they melt in your mouth, you know? Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh serve the dishes. We usually like to put cheese on stuff, extra cheese. So then I'll ask the kids, Nyla, would you like extra cheese in yours? Yeah. Put the carrot cake in the middle, and like a nice little straight line. In a straight line now? Yeah, hold on. Will you just? Okay, there it is. Hey. <laughs> hey, are you ready for some magic here, sir? I'm put some steak sauce in. Oh, some steak, oh, see, condiments, uh -huh. add it. Uh -huh. And that's uh -huh. the dinner. Blue cheese. And that's what we made. We hope you guys enjoy Very it. Very nice. <laughs>
and uh, letting you, uh, letting us watch you make a meal for you guys and your families. To me, it just showed that uh, that's what love is. That's what we're celebrating is that you guys cooked a home cooked meal for your families. And so we thank you and go for that. It was great to see that. So I think when this COVID is over, uh, Glenn, mm -hmm. I think you and uh, Carrie need to make some steak and uh, whatever you guys made, and we'll make you guys some hamburger helper. Yeah. Is that what you did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have a cookout or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just do the social distance and throw the food at each other. Oh, no, okay. We're going to have to cook around food. I, I was going to say that one of the best parts was that when Glenn dropped his steak, <laughs> yeah. one of the, is this Pardon? the first time you guys have had a camera? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's his. And then what, to me, the other great part was that, is it Nyla? Yeah. Your daughter was on. Yes. They had their daughter like, Go, I said, Nyla, slow down. I would say, slow down the close up, and she would take the camera and she would put it on the corn or something. <laughs> nice. So perfect. So, based on all of your great teamwork and uh, the love that you both, all of you showed mm -hmm. while you were cooking, our voters decided that you are both going to be the winners. Yay! Yay! <laughs> All right. All right. Great, and Thank we've you. got a couple of great prizes from our sponsors at 37 West, so we will get to those to you uh, ASAP. So <laughs> congratulations and thank you again. Um, I, we really appreciate you taking the time. Happy Valentine's Day and thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, guys. Congratulations. You too. On a gear. Happy Valentine's Day. Day.